What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on this 1992 Nissan 240SX and as you guys can see this vehicle has been sitting for quite some time. The entire vehicle is covered in a nice layer of dirt, algae and mold. This car is actually a hidden gem. If you guys don't know about these cars they have skyrocketed in price along with a lot of other JDM cars and this vehicle only has 50,000 original miles has all the receipts is actually a one owner car which is super rare for this vehicle but make sure you guys stick around to the very end of this video because the results are absolutely amazing and this is a video on a car that you don't see all the time but if you guys are new to this channel make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos but with that being said we're going to go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this disaster detail Moving on to cleaning the wheels, I'm using our Extreme APC on the tires and fender wells and I'm using our Mad Acid on the wheels along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean.
So what you guys see me using now is our Extreme APC as a pre-soak, and then I'm using my pressure washer to blow it all away. I get tons of comments of people saying, why are you using the degreaser? You don't have to, you can just use the pressure washer alone. And that is 100% not the truth. If I were to just use the pressure washer, you would leave behind a ton of streaking. So that is why I always use our Extreme APC diluted 10 to one on paint that is covered in mold, algae, or mud. Moving on to actually washing this vehicle, I'm using our foam cannon with our matte detailing super blue soap and I will follow that with washing it with a two bucket method. So moving on to actually washing this vehicle, I'm now using our foam cannon with our matte detailing super blue soap and I'm actually going... So moving on to actually washing this vehicle, I'm using our foam cannon with our matte detailing super blue soap before moving on to a hand wash with a microfiber wash mitt. So what I'm using now is our matte detailing iron eraser and that's gonna loosen up all this deeply embedded contamination inside of this clear coat. Anything from rail dust, brake dust, 
you name it. And then I'll also be using a synthetic clay bar with our mad detailing clay lube to make sure I get every bit of contamination out of this clear coat. So moving on to the interior, it didn't have much trash, but it does need a good vacuum and a good deep cleaning. So what we're doing now is giving the carpet a nice pre-vacuum to get the carpet ready for the carpet extraction later on in the video. Moving on to cleaning these seats, we'll be using our Mad Detailing Leather Cleaner followed by our Mad Detailing 100% Boar's Hair Brushes. And then we'll be using the steamer to make sure we loosen up all this mildew and mold and make sure these seats are 100% clean before we're applying our Mad Detailing Leather Conditioner. And that will restore these seats back to factory new and give them that factory feel. And it will not be greasy like a lot of leather conditioners out there. If you guys would like to pick up any of our Mad Detailing products, make sure you guys click the link in the description below. And there will also be a coupon code for you guys to save 20% off your entire order.
So moving on to the carpet extraction, we're using our Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by our Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. For the extractor, we're using our Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. And normally, I pull the carpet out of every single vehicle. You guys know that, but for this vehicle, we didn't. And that's because we actually drove four hours away to detail these vehicles and the environment that we were working on, it was constantly raining. There was this tree above us that was just throwing down trees, <laughs> or throwing down trees. It was throwing down leaves left and right. And also the second day we were here, the transformer blew out and the whole entire neighborhood did not have power. And it was just honestly a nightmare. Anything that could go wrong went wrong, but I was super happy on both these vehicles and how they turned out and the owner was absolutely thrilled. So that's all that matters.
So moving on to polishing this paint, I'm using our Rupes 21 polisher and a microfiber polishing pad. And for the polish, I'm just using HD1. I would have loved to give this vehicle a nice two-step paint correction and ceramic coating, but sadly the environment was not gonna let us do that. It started raining 20 minutes after this and it was just, <laughs> it was just a complete nightmare. But the one step polish did bring back a ton of gloss and shine and got rid of about 80% of the defects that were in this paint. And for protection, we use our mad detailing spray ceramic sealant, and that is going to protect this vehicle for up to 12 months and give it a nice high gloss shine. And it's going to be extremely hydrophobic. That way you're not going to have water spots or have to worry about and also we use our mad detailing spray ceramic sealant and that is going to protect this vehicle for up to 12 months it's going to be extremely hydrophobic and also we use our mad detailing spray ceramic sealant to give this vehicle a nice layer of protectant and we used and to seal this paint we used our mad detailing spray ceramic sealant and that is going to protect this vehicle for up to 12 months leave it extremely hydrophobic and it's going to make it way easier to maintain. 